Jacob Henry, your son, a high school football player, a guy that's already setting records in the weight room, who's absolutely dominating it on the field. Tell me about Jacob and everything that he's got going on right now. You know, man, I'm real proud, you know, to to be able to say this, but uh, I don't have to push Jacob. Jacob wants it. And, you know, that's that's the big that's the beginning part of success is finding what you love and what you want to be and then just going into it. Uh, last year, he was the only sophomore to make it to state in wrestling and uh, will very likely win it this year. And as has that as his ultimate goal, uh, he's a, you know, big time football player. Uh, he's also going to win state in powerlifting this year. Uh, Jacob is one of those kids. Well, I mean, he, you talked about him, him squatting 600 and deadlifting 600. Those were not limits though. That's what we allowed him to do because, uh, we wanted him to focus on football and we didn't want to tear his muscles up. So, you know, he, he can, he could probably get closer to 700 in both of those lifts, uh, and, and raw, he's not using equipment. Like he's, he lifts like I lifted. Uh, I didn't use equipment. I used the belt and knee wraps, and that's what he'll do. Absolutely. Well, if you're talking about a kid who's going to be a, a state champion wrestler, a state champion power lifter, you know, hopefully a state champion football player too, but easily one of the best players in the state, he's going to be able to write his ticket. So so here's my question for you. with Bro, with you want to hear something funny? Yes, I you do. You want to hear something funny? Very likely they're going to win state in choir. This is a dude that's in the choir. In, in choir? Sing like, bro, he is singing Dean Martin and uh, Sam Cook and all of these. He's, he wants to be a balladeer. Like, you hear him, he's such a well rounded kid, man. Love God more than anything. And, and I just want to see him have. Uh, every outlet that he wants to try his his hand in, I want him to have some success. And I, I just, I believe in opportunities. Look, we all know all about your Hall of Fame career. You set the bar extremely high, higher than a dad possibly could ever fathom. But your son, Jacob, is off to an absolutely incredible start in so many ways in such a hurry. Could he go above and, and do more than you did in, in sports, in wrestling, in football? How do you see that panning out? I, I think so, man. I, I think that he can uh, just off the fact that evolution and uh, you look at what happened with second and third generation wrestlers. Uh, Jacob already understands psychology of pro wrestling, why you do things, where do you do it. Um, he will learn how but he already knows a lot of the nuances and he's going to have me. And there's a lot of guys that I mentored in this business that are going to take care of him when he decides to make the move to pro wrestling. Uh, football wise, he's already ahead of me. Um, I mean, he's a, he's a really dominant player, impossible to block one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he, he took 28 double teams and against the number one offensive line in the state, and uh, the best football team in the state of Texas, Westlake, uh, their, their, their city rival and, and their arch rival. And um, uh, he, 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 beat, he beat those guys 50% of the time, even with double teams. He had one sack, two Harrys, and six solo tackles. So, you know, you got an offensive line with two four stars and one five star on it. Um, that's pretty damn impressive to have that kind of uh, higher ratio. Uh, and, you know, there, there's there's a lot of guys that have college offers that they would have got killed in that game. So I know what Jacob is and what he's going to be, and uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing it happen. He, he'll definitely be a better athlete than I am.